conditions are out, uh, it's going to be less feasible for people to leave. I would strongly recommend people take those warnings seriously and find safer ground out, whether it's at one of the shelters or at uh, a, a family member or a friend's house that's on high ground. Right. All right. Thank you so much, Supervisor, for joining us again. Uh, that's Scott Russell from South Holt. And again, if you have more information that, you know, you can give us updates, we want them. We're here live all day. So as the more information we can get, again, he's saying it's exceedingly bad. The conditions are eroding, but it's not too late. There is going to be a point where it will be too late to go back. Um, but we are getting some video right now um, that we're, that I was talking about earlier that I had on my Facebook page. This was sent to us uh, from one of our viewers. This is Rocky Point that you're looking at. Look at that house there. Oh boy, you know, I was talking to somebody yesterday on the North Shore of Oyster Bay who was saying, well, I'm not worried about flooding out down at the bottom because we're up high, but you see how some of the high can blow away in something like this. And so that house is certainly precariously positioned right now. And we have seen homes lost, of course, in earlier storms. And I mean, that just tells the story. This is Friendship Beach in uh, Rocky Point that you're taking a look at here. And you can see how close that is to the edge right now. I mean, yikes. Yeah, uh, and hopefully, you know, the people at the very least have gotten out of that house, and, and that is so important. All right, and thanks so much to uh, Paula Savarese for sending in that video. If you have video, um, you know, if, if you're in a